you're talking about uh, illiteracy that is that you have to go back 200 years in the West the, to find that level of illiteracy. I think this is precisely the kind of reasoning that's used to justify the bombing and no, commercial not. colonization of those territories. They're not like us. They treat women different from us. I don't think okay. we're in a position to make those okay, judgments. So I think that these kind of uh, sort of theoretical tableaus are used to create a false hierarchy and a moral superiority by a dominant culture that subsequently uses thinking of this n- n- of this nature to underwrite the modern day colonization okay. and subjugation of these people on a massive scale right, so and me, as barbaric and disgusting okay. as 9-11 was a daily 9-11 since then so that a, a state system can perpetuate itself using rationalism using comfortable means of executions that glide slyly by all white in the sky is no better or the, the, the 9-11 well, that was a it was a too it, it, right like and suicide bombing so it's just aesthetics is, really no, it's not suicide a suicide bombing no, it, looks it, bad it, a drone bomb it no, it's not just aesthetic. Nice. It's not just aesthetic. Well, how is it not aesthetic? When you're talking about the possibility, like, like of something like nuclear terrorism mm. or biological terrorism, that you know, where someone tries to weaponize smallpox and I kill a hundred million people. Let's just right? mention that, so, that that nuclear terrorism is not hypothetical. It already happened fifty years ago. No, underwritten no, 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 I won't call by that, secularism. I, I, I won't call that nuclear terrorism. Or um, nuclear, I don't know. There was, there was certainly a first I bet use if you were in Nagasaki that day, se- semantics wouldn't well, be your well, primary well, concern. Well, no, what but, should we call that thing? Ow, my teeth! Yeah. When you say a suicide bomber, I admit that it's, you know, it's an extraordinary and it's difficult for us to understand. But what I'm curious about, Sam, is that uh, the, what are the prerequisite conditions for suicide bombing even to be relevant? And I also can't help but thinking when I sort of feel when when we sort of recall events like Waco or any disruption yeah. or any, a, a, anything that sort of ruptures the sort of like the the uh, American mainframe. Well, not American because I think this goes beyond nation. If you put if you find yourself in opposition to the state, the means by which the state will deploy violence doesn't need to resort to sort of lurid, livid, blatant, clumsy acts like suicide bombing because the power is so evident. The ability to exert power and control is so total that it doesn't need sort of like almost the sort of graphic and horrific whimsy of something like a suicide bombing, albeit underwritten by something that looks peculiar to people like us that value life and value fun and don't have a belief system that's like, oh, I'll be in some sort of uh, Valhalla subsequently. Mm.